Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, October 19th, 2019, week number 46 of our keto journey. This week's a better week than last week was. We it had is. a rough week last week. Uh, we did. We did. It, was, uh, it looks like we're about <laughs> to have another rough week because Stacy just informed me that we're doing a whole other week of index. So Bill's real happy. I'm sorry. Anyway, so let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just forget we said that Let's one. just go into whatever it is you're going to go into. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> last Numbers. week, um, Bill weighed in uh, at 335.4. I'm shaking because I'm chilly. Yeah, um, you're shaking the entire table. <laughs> this week, he weighed in at 331.2. So he's down 4.2 pounds from last week. Which is the correction of the increase for last week, almost all of it. Yeah, just working at it, doing our thing. And you know what's funny is I didn't do anything different this week than I do any other week. So I have no idea why it went up last week. There was a lot of uh, input that it might be stress. And then because we had some, you know, things going on and not sleeping and stress. And it's probably all part of it. I don't know. Didn't do anything much different than I overdo. So I'm just sticking with it. Absolutely. So last week I weighed in at 134.8. And you and were up too. I was up as well. Um, and today I weighed in at 132.8, so I'm down two pounds. Um, you know, I guess this is where my body's wanting to be. Yeah, it's probably harder for you because you're so close to whatever your normal body weight should be. There's yeah. no excuse for me. I need to be getting rid of it. I still got too much. I think you just need to maybe adjust your macros. and. Gosh, I have run numbers guys on a couple different macro calculators and they're all telling me more calories than I'm eating and higher amounts of fats and proteins than what I'm putting into my carb manager now. So I'm very confused. There have been some that have gone as high as 2,600 calories in a day and you know, 70, 80% fats, which I don't really feel comfortable with, but um, yeah, and the one I'm on now is like 2,100 calories now, you got to remember, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot six. But uh, yeah, so, you know, my requirements seem higher. Yeah. And when I tell people, oh, well, I'm 2,100 calories, they say, well, it's because you're on too many calories. And I'm like, well, no, actually, that's even cut to 30% instead of 20% on some of these calculators I'm using. And I don't even meet the 2,100 on some days. So maybe I'm not eating enough. I don't know. Because some of them are telling me 2,600 calories or 2,450, you know. I'm trying, and uh, I'm, I'm a little frustrated. I feel very stalled. I've been stuck in this stupid 330s forever, Aww. feels like. <laughs> I just want to get back down onto the 330s, and then I'll focus on the next 10. That's, <laughs> if I look at it as a long term, I'll just give up. So I'm just doing a little bit at a time. Short term. Short term yeah. goals. Little goal. Mini goals. Mini goals. Bill keeps looking at my silver hairs. Apparently my silver hairs are... he got some crazy <laughs> flyaways that they going on <laughs> with the grays. I don't know if you can see that from a distance, but there's like certain ones that just kind of go bing, wherever they want. Just and as he's hair. looking at me, I can see him looking over. Yeah, <laughs> just kind of... You know, I, I picked up at the library yesterday a couple of keto books. And then one book I just picked up because it just looked interesting. And it was the carnivore book. And I'm going to kind of flip through it. I want to see, I'm just, I'm kind of feeling like I'm a little bit in a rut. I eat the same things over and over. I mean, my grocery list is under 10 items. It really is. Um, truth. Yeah, truth. Um, I'm even considering cutting out some of the things that I drink on a regular basis. Um, my coffee, I'll be honest, I put a French vanilla powder in there and it's got, I think, maltodextrin in it. Yeah. I'm thinking if I cut that for a week, maybe maybe my body reacts different. I did blood sugar tests with that like an hour after drinking mm -hmm. a cup of coffee and I didn't notice a difference. So I figured I'd be okay. But maybe right. the body's reacting differently with it. Not so much a blood sugar thing, right. but not Could letting be. me get into ketosis. And uh, in some of you guys may know that I'm doing that whole metformin experiment with my doctor um, of a couple of weeks of no metformin. This will be the first full week. And on Monday, I'll have my first report of where I fell um, on that with no metformin in me. And when I do that, my sugars naturally creep up, which makes it even harder to be in ketosis. Yeah. I check my ketones and they're like nominal to nothing and i'm eating full keto pretty much yeah i mean i'm not eating strict keto but i'm eating pretty full keto bacon eggs oh, yeah. and 
vegetables and chicken thighs and I even cut out the glaze that I was putting on chicken thighs because it did have a sucralose in it. So I thought, well, let me just simplify a little, make my day yeah. easier. And, you know, I use my carry gold. Rub. Yeah. Make my carry gold uh, butter for the eggs and for the, uh, I put it on the chicken instead of the glaze, you know, just right. things that I think would be a good alternative. And heck, I've even taken it easier on salts because I'm thinking, well, maybe my body's retaining fluids. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going through, going through like a stall period, and I'm feeling really blah. Cause, cause we ain't gonna get much more out of this one. <laughs> we ain't gonna get much more out of her. <laughs> so few pounds we wanna, down, few pounds up. <laughs> yeah, and I need to get my my numbers down. I want my numbers down. I've been riding the bike down here in the basement. I've been getting on the e-bike with Stace. We're gonna go do that again. I think on Saturday next week. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to go for another bike ride on the weekend. So it'll be a week from now. Yeah. But might sneak another one in. And Greg and Stacy from Keizu Zito. Keizu Keto? Keizu Keto. Keizu Zito. I got their a new <laughs> name. They changed their name. I got a little bit of extra sleep this morning. <laughs> is that what it is, huh? <laughs> okay. But they might come out for a bike ride That'd on, be great. Uh, next Saturday. So. Yeah. Have you seen our um, e bike video review that we did? We went to a. Uh, Metro Park that's about 10 minutes away. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Um, it follows, the trail follows a, it's a paved trail and it follows a big lake. And I think there's 8.5 miles there. Yes. Then you can go off of that trail and go through woods too. So, I mean, there's over 10 miles worth of paved trail that you can ride on and it's yeah. just beautiful. Leaves um, are changing. The, the weather should be changing. The leaves will be changing. You'll have to definitely um, wear long sleeves for oh. this one. I'll be wearing more layers than I even did yeah. last time. <laughs> I, I was even a little chilly. It was about 65 that day, yeah. and it's going to be colder. Yeah. I'll have gloves on, too. If I had a pair of gloves, I'd wear them. <laughs> I'll get you some. I'll go on Amazon. <laughs> Amazon? <laughs> Amazon. I don't know what Amazon is. I'll show you what Amazon oh, is. Oh, we know what Amazon is. Here's a funny for you. So I had Bill order me a pair of slip-resistant shoes uh, from Amazon. For work. For work. And... Uh, we get them in the mail on Thursday, and it's a... Well, a package came, and I didn't know what it was, and I'm thinking, gosh, what did I order now? I can't even remember. And he's like, I little. swear I don't know what I ordered. Because it was very small. And when we opened it, it was a pair of, like, little baby <laughs> black booty shoes, like, for a newborn baby. Yeah. They fit in the size of my hand. And I'm like, these are not your black... <laughs> 8.5 wide girls Skechers non-slip work leather <laughs> work rubber <boots>. shoes. <laughs> yeah, that's not what this is. Amazon. So yeah, those went back. Probably because it was. Free. And they're gonna think I'm scamming them because I'm sending them some little baby black boot. <laughs> but that's not what I ordered. <laughs> I even wrote all over the return thing. I'm like, this is not what I ordered. Somebody it was sent crazy me baby stupid. boots. <laughs> And then we ordered the other pair, and bam, right away they came. And yeah. while well, we ordered the same pair, right. and they came, and they're fine. Yeah. So go figure. That was just. I don't funny. think that's ever happened to me on Amazon, where I ordered something and got something totally. It's because it was for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Because yeah, I asked him to order it instead of him ordering something without me asking. Well, too, I so, do yeah. try to stick to my sixteen eights, and I'd say I'm pretty good overall. Um, I did not get a day of fasting in this week. I will this week. Um, I'm I'm kind of just feeling like whatever I'm doing is just obviously not getting me where I need to be. So I've got to reassess. I don't know. Maybe I'll throw up a video on my macros and say, here's where I'm at. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, give me some, I mean, I don't know. I'm open to input, but every calculator I'm using, I'm going lower than those calculators. Yeah. I'm, I'm taking it down even from what, other things are telling me, even with a 20% deficit, which is the max deficit on these calculators, I'm doing that, and then I'm still reducing it from that, and then I still get the comments that people say, you're overdoing it, you're eating too many calories, you're eating too much fats and, and carbohydrates, and not carbohydrates, because I stay under 20, but uh, um, proteins, yeah. and things of that nature, which is kind of confusing me, because Maybe they're not figuring in that I'm six foot six inches tall. I'm a large person. Um, if I put it you don't in, don't see the difference. Oh, if I put it in at five foot four or something, yeah, it's going to give me fourteen hundred and fifty calories or something. I'm a big machine. 
I'm like the transformers, you know, you got the big, you know, that's me. So, but uh, yeah, I've, I've been trying to figure this out and I'm, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm really getting a little frustrated with myself. Uh, I've not given up on keto. Nope. I'm maybe going to get a little stricter with my keto to try and tinker with things to figure out what is causing me to not continue to drop because, um, you know, there's a little bit in my coffee powder that I use. It's a French vanilla, sugar-free, but it has, I believe, maltodextrose or sucralose. I can't yeah, recall, or dextrose or something. Yeah. And, and I just, I barely put any of that in there just for a little flavor. But, hey, maybe that's what's doing it to me. I don't know. Could be. Yeah. And sugar's being a little higher and I at stopped, the moment. And I stopped. Oh, my sugars are higher because I'm off the metformin, which is fighting being in ketosis, which is frustrating for me because I, I want my I want to be in that yeah. adapted range of having a higher number and it's low so my I don't do it too often because it's like a buck a strip but I need to uh, check that too uh, maybe I'll check it on Monday morning when I do my little yeah second week into the no metformin and, and uh, I have not looked at my baseline numbers but my numbers are a little higher this week understandably because I'm off to metformin but it's going to make the ketosis stuff you know checking even my harder. ketones even even lower so it's it's like gosh what do I do I don't know it's a discussion I have with my doctor um I'll, I'll be looking into things and trying to get ideas of what to do yeah but this is just I would say overall it's been a better week yeah so let's just try and stay positive look forward look at it as a small portion of our journey Yes. And uh, work through it. Absolutely. That's, that's what we're trying. I'm such a basic guy, though. I just, I go for basic food. I'll make a couple of scrambled eggs and a couple of pieces of bacon. Or, you know, a piece of chicken and some broccoli. I just, I'm such like a dog when it comes to that. Just give me the same thing. I'll make 15 chicken breasts and that's what I eat for five days straight. You know, very true. And I'll eat it for morning, breakfast, and sometimes dinner, too. Because that's just the way I am. You put the bowl of food out and I will eat it. <laughs> And it's simple. It's simple. That's why I keep thinking, man, what am I doing wrong? Maybe I'm going over on protein. Yeah. With maybe. my macros. I don't know. I'll throw that into Monday's video and I'll I'll just throw up my current carb manager macros and as well as report on what's going on with the uh, um, sugars and where I'm at for baseline. I did not do the math on it yet, but I'm feeling like I'm close to that 20 above. And uh, well, he said, give it three weeks. So I'll yeah. do three weeks. Do an average. And then we'll just see what the week one, week two, week three is of no metformin. If it continues to creep up, stress and anxiety can be part of it. But I will report what happens because that's what I said I would do to him and to you guys. So, you know, if you're interested, check those out on Mondays. Yep. 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 All right, guys, we're going to uh, go ahead and sign off. You have to work this afternoon, right? I do. Okay. So we're going to get going. I'm going to process this video and I'm going to start looking through some of those keto cookbooks because there are a couple of things in there yeah. that might be just fun to make. Do what you find. I will. All right. All right. We'll see you guys. Bye, guys. Bye.